so I think our team was prompted uh, by the increasing like waiting lists and the time pressures that our team is under and I think a lot of other NHS trusts as well. So when there was an opportunity to think how we could innovate and work a bit more efficiently and make better use of clinician time, um, then this was a really, really nice opportunity that came up for us. I probably think the first one was just the price of the iPad and the license and trying to get your head around, around, around that. The second was the data and ensuring that the information that we collected was safe. So there were some issues with IG there. Um, and then the other thing was trying to consider how safe the iPads were. Um, our clinicians walking around with quite expensive materials in, in the community. So we had to look at all of that together and really had to consider how we could overcome some of the, the 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 harder bits which i think is probably the ig but then also making clinicians feel safe that they have these this equipment and and i think that was before even trying to convince them of how amazing it is to use it it was just the the practicalities personally i i, I feel it's it's in a, enabled us to have uh, I feel like the process is quicker. I don't know why, but it feels like it's smoother when you're doing the assessment. It's higher engagement with the child, so therefore it's a lot easier to get the information. We also, I feel, we're also able to use more of the subtests than we had done previously, so we get a fuller picture of the child's difficulties, which means that when we are providing um, our reports or we're um, providing any follow-ups years uh, the following year, we have enough information to paint a really good picture of this child and to not have to go and do another assessment. I think the digital health has really aided um, my work with the, the children on my caseload um, for a number of reasons. So uh, a lot of speech and language therapists will be familiar with the KELF and the quite big KELF stimulus books. Um, and when you know we work in the community, we go to different schools, uh, it's quite quite a big heavy thing to lug around with you. Um, and I found it really helpful just having the iPads with me. And I've been into school when I plan to see one child. Previously, if I didn't have the right stimulus book or the right um, uh, record form for that child, I either had to go back to the office mm -hmm. or I just couldn't assess that child. But with the flexibility of the digital KELF, I, I can work around that. I can still be efficient with my time. I can still do the work that needs to be done for my schools. I found it really helpful to have, uh, we had some, within our trust, we had uh, training on how to get familiar with the, uh, the digital assessments. Uh, we had opportunities to have um, practice assessments. We practiced with our colleagues. So once we gave it a couple of goes, we thought, all right, actually, I can see, I can see why this uh, could take off. Um, and it did, and after that, it was, it was fairly straightforward to use. Um, I think having the peer support as well, if you've got a lot of people using it all together at a similar time, you can start helping each other and uh, yeah, problem solve when issues do come up. I would definitely suggest that you speak to somebody who's already got that speak to another trust who's already working with this it's really straightforward once you do it it's just that little bit of a a barrier to get over